if the Crafts decide to move on from Bill Belichick, are you 100% sure that Gerard Mayo will be his replacement? I don't know that I'm 100% sure, but it sure feels like that's the agreement. Uh, and I just don't know that they would walk back from that kind of conversation. I mean, again, just go back to the to the signing of the contract, the two-year deal. Now we believe that the Belichick deal is a two-year deal. Like it all lined up perfectly for for Gerard to be the guy who would take over. And I will say this, that uh, the more I talk to people, the more I think Bill's back next year. Wow. Oof. Even if even if they have a disastrous record, I mean, it... <laughs> all right, tell us why. Okay, so you're yeah, talking yeah, yeah, to I, people, I, and they're saying that. Uh, I mean, because I mean, they're going to have a bad record. I mean, they they're going to. Well, so, so you <laughs> you say that, but the next three games, and again, like I get it. This is not like the old days where you would look at the next three games. If Tom Brady was here, or even whatever, if, three years ago when when Mac was a rookie and they had a nice little run there, where you would say they're going to win these three games. But they could win these three games. These games are all like Washington's not a very good football team. Okay, so what's a what's Indy's not, not a, a bad record? Team? What's not a bad record? Are for you the saying Patriots? seven wins is going to save his wins. job? Yeah. Ooh, seven wins. Seven wins. Hey, two and six, and you finish seven and ten. How does it look? And then the, you know they'll point, they'll, <laughs> point, they'll point again and say we were a one possession loss to Philadelphia, who might be the best team in football. We lost to to Miami at home. What about five wins? I'm mean, five wins gets it a little dicier for sure. But again, what is it? It's just so funny. It's, this what conversation. Does it look like? five, five and, and seven 12? wins. Yeah. It, it's just, you know, 80% I, of coaches who might five Mike, and 12. I don't fire. care Unless if they light the something. world on fire during the final three games. Five and 12, if that's your result. I would have said five and 12 was he was a goner. And I'm not sure that I feel that way anymore. Wow. And, 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 what, and what leads you to, to think that way? Like, what have you heard from people? <laughs> that. Truly, they don't think he's doing a bad job with this team. Like you what, know, they have but all he these. He put together I, this team. <laughs> so, so look, it's great. This, you know how the narrative changes, and the narrative changes even with the people that you talk to. Because I think I sat here and told you, and I've been saying for months now that they thought they were better than any of us thought. Yeah. Like even the 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 most ardent Pats fan was like, "Oh, they'll be they could be ten and seven this year. They'll, they'll win a playoff game." They were like, "We we could be better than that. We could <laughs> we have a we have a real team. We could challenge in the AFC East." And then, you know, if you're challenging the AFC East, maybe you're challenging in the AFC altogether, and obviously it hasn't gone that way. And now it's like, "Well, you know, the the injuries are a problem and you know, like, look, hey, we gave Mac what he needed and Mac's not really What what did they give him? Well, they, they didn't give, him, give an, him anything. They gave him an offensive coordinator. They didn't give him a tackle. They didn't give him a wide receiver. They didn't give him anything. They gave him Bill O'Brien. That's going to be their whole cell and, point. And you know what that was worth? Less than nothing. Yeah, but what did the Patriots do the, this offseason when they when they brought him in? They treated it as uh, if it was Trump? a star player. Yep. They, 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 as if they were touting that they just got like a a, a, just, a, a guy who is was ridiculous. a max contract superstar. There are which some was, smart it, people running this team, and how can who? they be so dumb about they, this? They thought the Bill O'Brien edition was um, essentially equivalent to the Jets getting Aaron Rodgers. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. That, that's the way that it seemed to be treated. It was ridiculous the whole time. I mean, anytime you're extolling the virtues of a coordinator. Well, I mean, it, but I mean. And unfair, because like you can, again. I don't. Bill always has to. O'Brien has to bear some responsibility for the fact that they're averaging less than 15 points a game. Um, you know, like you're the offensive coordinator, you're not absolved of of responsibility there. But then you look at it and go, "My God, his best receiver is a six round rookie out of Liberty." Yeah. And you know, their well, offensive his, line is not. You know, Trent Brown and David Andrews, and then what else? You know, like the only explosive think, player they have on offense is the kid out is the six round pick, yeah, Mario Douglas. Liberty. Nuts. And, and, Which, and and he's a. Like, this is the thing, too. You talk to people inside the building, like, it's good drafting. You know, we identified, people <laughs> said Zay Flowers, you know, like, oh, pick. no. And, oh. and Demario's kind of like the same player. Yeah, oh, like, yeah, we got him exactly in the, like we got him. him in the sixth he, round. Yeah, yep, and, and, he'll, right. and he'll never get hurt. He's going to be, he's going to, he's going to play 17 games a year. I mean, the, he's a little kid. I, I know this is a crazy question, but do you think the, the crafts are aware? On how the fans are going to react if they only get five wins and they keep Bill Belichick? Yeah. That yeah you I think do. they're aware. I think they're aware. Yet they would still keep him around. I, I, I think there's I, – I think based on the – just go back to the Brady thing. 
I don't think they want to be the ownership group that that was responsible for letting Tom Brady walk out the door, even though, you know, they clearly that that's Bill's decision. They'll tell you. Can I just say this out loud in case now anyone's listening? Go. No one is going to blame you, Kraft family. <laughs> yeah, you if won Bill six, Belichick wins Super five Bowl. games, and no one's going to blame you yeah. for letting him go. Like, your no legacy one. is pretty cemented. You took a garbage organization. You came in as the owner. You changed the culture. You had an unprecedented run. It probably will never happen again. I mean, and, and it's going to get more and more embarrassing, Mike, as this wins record becomes a story, continues to be a story, and he doesn't get it. I mean, it, every loss is is means more now, even because like right now, right? You're just another team. You knew that going into the season. You just I, they didn't, but you just knew, right? So you would think, okay, we suck. Well, we'll maybe we get rid of some pieces today, and then t- we go into the draft. We nail the draft, and we when we begin the process, we take a kid, a quarterback, we begin the process. But now you got this Evan wins record. That that I contend is no one talks about Don Shula like he's the best coach of all time. But you have this wins record that he's so close to. But yet, if you do the math, he ain't. I mean, years it could take years for him to get there. I'm not kidding. And Fred, on top of that too, I don't believe for one second that Bill Belichick would take the hey, you know what, we'll keep you as coach. But we're going to take away some no, of the GM duties, no, no, and there's people out there who seem to think, well, what if they did that? What if they took away the really the, the really bad part of what he's done with you know putting together this awful roster? But you let him continue to coach because you know he is still a good coach. There's no way in hell Bill Belichick would accept that. Well, I think the other part of that thing that always makes me kind of smile is like, how do you know that Matt Groh's good at it? Mm-hmm. Like, if Matt Groh's the guy. And I think we all feel like there's been a little bit of a shift and Matt's got a little bit more sway than than maybe previous personnel guys have had. But then, okay, so then look at the drafts, you know, and, okay, you got DeMario, maybe Mapu's a good player, Keon White's something, uh, Gonzalez is like, you know, okay, there's some good Don't pe- give him credit for Gonzalez. I mean, Gonzalez well, but, is but, but, just, right. but you start going and then, well, but how about two years ago and how that draft looks? That draft doesn't look that great anymore. Like you, I, I don't, I, I just, I don't know how you can look at that and say, oh, well, yeah, let's just give it to Mac Rowe mm-hmm. and, and we'll be fine. You know, so I don't know. I don't know how that, how that would all play. Maybe, yeah. maybe there is part of Bill that says I'm seven, I'll be 72 next year. I don't – they know what kind of players I want, and if they don't give me the players that I want, if, if in fact, this is what happens and you break it up and Matt has more power, then that's also my out. Well, I didn't pick the players. I just – I coached oh, the guys no, that no, did. No. I mean, it, if I'm him and, and you're taking power away from me and yeah, I'm but does he want to start – Fred, does he want to start over? Because he still I, – I still firmly believe he wants to coach. Yeah. So does he want to pick – a little sad. Does he want to pick up and go to – we mentioned Washington here. What if he doesn't have a choice? Chicago. What if he doesn't have a choice? That's the thing is that it, I, if, if you're the Crafts and this season ends in the disaster that we most likely think it's going to happen, they shouldn't give him a choice. I, I would say that for me, like the next – these next three weeks are huge because I think we, we saw coming out of the locker room in Miami when someone like Matt Slater's like – Kind of, I don't know how this is going to go because we've never really been here before. Yeah. And now we're going to see who really cares about the football team. And if guys let go of the rope now, then maybe all bets are off and, and Bill's a dead man walking. Uh, I, but I, if guys I, I, look at this and go, well, you know, I, I still got to play because I want my dollars. You know, I'm a free agent. I'm Mike and Wenu. I'm Duggar. I'm Uche. I got to get my numbers. Yeah. I got to play hard. And guys still hang on. And then all of a sudden you're five and six. Which again is, I think, doable with the schedule. How are you going to outscore the Commanders and the Colts? I mean, the Commanders' th- defense is atrocious. I know, but how are you going to outscore them? Is what I'm saying. And then, by Sam the way, Howell, Gardner Minshew, like I, I, Gardner Minshew's better than Mac Jones. And I got news for you; uh, he really is better than Mac Jones. And I got news for you: that Giants game. Look forward to the, the uh, to November 26th, <laughs> oh, Jesus, my friends, because that is Thanksgiving going to be, weekend, baby. That Do is, nothing. That is going to be a, a real hellhole. Uh, I but, mean, but, that is going to be a disaster. If of a my game. if my if my boss Greg Bedard is listening, Greg, if you want to go do that game yourself, <laughs> yeah, at, at MetLife that weekend, the under, by God. the way. Is ten. Yeah, I was just gonna say, over <laughs> and, and I'm not joking. Two touchdowns. I'm not joking. Um, yeah, the yeah. look ahead line. 
By the way, Michael Hurley just tweeted, Hey, uh, Mike Giardi, if you want me to stop analyzing and complaining about and mocking horrible NFL officiating, then you're just going to have to respectfully buzz off, pal. That is <laughs> a love you, love you, passive Mike. aggressive. <laughs> he's trying to be like funny. Too. He was trying to be funny about it, but he's actually pissed. I know. Love you, Mike. That, mean that, it. That was, but you know but that. They didn't lose because of you, officiating. You know, he put, buzz, he put buzz off at the end to like kind of make it tongue in cheek, but he's actually he's pissed. Yeah. Yeah. But but Mike, we'll that, hug it out next time. That's why we all. Mike. That's why we all love you. Is that everything is a conspiracy against <laughs> your favorite thing, <laughs> Michael Hurley? You're talking about uh, Michael that, Hurley. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, I mean, that's yeah, Mike. Michael Hurley, not Steve Caballero over here. You see it? You see it? Doesn't he look like a little like Steve? A little Caballero? bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yep. Famous skater, Steve Caballero. Bones Brigade. Oh. Yep. Hmm. Still kicking ass. He's in a <laughs> band that's touring. People go see him. I don't quite know why. <laughs> 